Hello guys the Diablo 4 early access beta seems to be causing some performance issues for players, especially those enjoying the RPG on a PC. The game keeps crashing on their systems, making it quite difficult for them to enjoy the beta release. Moreover, once Diablo 4 crashes, the Battle.net client locks off the game and shows a message saying it's not available. As a result, players have to restart both the client and the game to be able to make their way into the beta release of the RPG. It's quite an annoying error to deal with, as it takes away one's playtime. Since the early access beta is only live until March 19, 2023, every moment is precious. Hence, today's guide goes over some of the ways that could help you deal with the crashing and client lockup error in Diablo 4. The bug does have a few temporary workarounds that you can implement to try and fix the problem. 1. Upgrading your graphics cards to the latest driver. Updating your GPU to the latest graphics drivers is the first thing you should do when trying to deal with the crashing issue in Diablo 4. Irrespective of whether you are using an AMD or Nvidia card, both have their respective desktop software that will let you automatically detect the latest patch and download it. 2. Make Diablo 4 one of the allowed applications on Windows Defender Firewall. The Windows Firewall may block your access to the game and its servers, making it crash while also locking up the Battle.net client. One way to work around this issue is to open the firewall and network protection from your Windows security and make your way to the Allow an App section through the Firewall option. You will need to find Diablo 4 here. Click on Change Setting. Add another app. And then add the game to the exception list. This is likely to deal with any problems that the game and launcher are facing with Windows Firewall. 3. Check for file integrity. The game might also crash if there are corrupt or broken files in the installation directory. You can fix this issue through the Battle.net client itself by selecting the game, clicking on the cog-like icon, and then going for the scan and repair option. This will automatically launch a program that will go over all the files in the installation directory and replace the ones that may be damaged. In the last, if all these methods fail, you have to wait for the developers to fix this issue. For more please like and subscribe.